Wow, thank you so much, guys. We did it, we hit 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. I can't believe it. I started this about a year ago. Didn't think it would go anywhere. I mean, I did it as a hobby to start out looking at home automation, stuff like that. Work on my video editing, my camera skills, lighting, all things like that. Learn a little bit about it. And here we are, just about a year later, 10,000 subscribers. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, obviously, I've had fun doing it, and I'm gonna keep doing it. In fact, I'm working a little bit on changing things up, trying to get some better lighting, some better audio, playing around with where I'm filming. Hopefully you like this, it looks a little bit better. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe. I wanna keep the channel growing. Thumbs up if you like my videos, guys. Thumbs up, I never used to do it, but you know what, it really helps. Thumbs up if you like them. Comments down below if there's anything you'd like to discuss because oh, that's where the comments go. And guys, I'm on Patreon. Patreon is a site where you can go and help support creators like myself. Give a little bit of money every month and what that does is it helps me buy better lenses and cameras and lighting and sets and product to test and show you guys. I plan to give back to my Patreons. I want to share with them some insider stuff, maybe take a look at some of the behind the scenes stuff I've been doing, answer any questions you may have, and and the bigger thing, I wanna take some of these products that I've been reviewing, I can't use them all, I'm gonna make them prizes and giveaways and things like that, and I'd like to start with my Patreon base. So guys, if you're not a Patreon already, links are down below, just a couple bucks a month, helps keep the channel going, and you might win something. And and just so you know, there's not many of you yet. So you could be in on the ground floor, one of those first people to get things. Because if I start giving a few of these things away and there's only a few people there, well, your odds of winning are pretty good. Guys, let's get down to today's video. We're looking at the Amazon Spot. The Echo Spot? The Spot. The Amazon Spot. You know what? I get confused. There's so many devices they have now. But something to remember, this is the first one that has a small little screen on it. Now at first I thought, gimmicky, not interested. I already have a Dot. I already have an Echo. I already have a Fire TV. But you know what? I kind of like it already. It adds a little something to it. I mean, you know what? You put it on a table in your kitchen, in a desk, in your bedroom if you want. And it becomes a little piece of something to look at. It's actually nice. It's got a really bright screen on it. Uh, it's always displaying the time, the weather, it has a few little widgets it runs through. You can customize all of that. And it just adds a little bit. The typical ones, the, the Echo and the Dot, you hide out of the way. You almost don't want to see them. This one, you want to show it off. And if you've ever used an Amazon device, you know that there are a ton of skills. Um, some of them include Music, Logitech, Ecobee, CBC, TP-Link, The Weather Network, Ring, Spotify, Uber. They're there, there's hundreds of them. There's so many that you're gonna spend hours just looking through them all to see which ones you want to use. One of the ones that I thought was really cool and really shows off how the Spot can add a little something is its integration with Nest. Now I have a couple Nest cameras. Uh, one of them we've recently set up and we got a new puppy, his name is Milo. You may have seen him in my last video. Um, Milo's just a puppy. He's nine weeks old. So we put him in a crate at night and we need to keep an eye on him. If he needs to go out, things like that. Uh, so I put a Nest camera on the floor just in front of his crate. And uh, you know what? When I go to bed at night, I just do Alexa, show me the entryway. Okay. And what that does is it accesses that Nest camera and it brings it up on the screen. So I can essentially keep an eye on Milo and there's audio there as well. So I can listen in if he's crying and, and go take him out. Now, obviously you guys may not have use for this with a pet, but maybe a baby, or maybe you wanna keep a eye on your front of your house or another Nest security cam you have. It's just a really cool feature. It's just one of many, of course. So you know what? Rather than you sit and look at me, let's ask Alexa some of the other things she can do. Hello, ready for setup. Introducing Amazon Echo Spot, a stylish compact Echo with a screen that's designed to fit anywhere, like on your office desk or nightstand. 
Alexa helps you do more with your voice. Alexa, what's on my calendar today? Today, there are two events. At 8 a.m., there's a call with Grandma, and at 4 p.m., there's Ben's soccer game. Use room-to-room -room calling to check in on the family. Alexa, drop in on the kitchen. And now, you can easily call most numbers in the U.S., Canada, or Mexico from your Echo device to their home or mobile phone at no additional cost. Alexa, call Grandma's home phone. Calling Grandma's home phone. Ready for some music? Just ask for a song, artist, or genre from your favorite music service. And with multi-room music, you can play your favorite songs on supported Echo devices in different rooms. Alexa, play Walk the Moon on the Bedroom Echo. Playing songs by Walk the Moon on the Bedroom Echo. You can automate your smart home using the Alexa app. After setting up your compatible devices, just create a routine that will help you do multiple things with one phrase. For example, say, Alexa, good night. To lock the front door and turn off the downstairs lights. Then set a music alarm to wake you up. Alexa, wake me up at 7 a.m. tomorrow with Sia. Alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow to Sia. With a growing selection of clock faces and tens of thousands of skills and counting, Alexa is always getting smarter. Explore skills in your Alexa app or ask, Alexa, recommend some skills. To get a list of things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? And when you want to go back to the home screen, say, Alexa, go home. Enjoy your new Echo Spot. Alexa, what else can you do? You can say, wake me up to music. What alarms are set for tomorrow? Or, set an egg timer for three minutes. And many more. Alexa, call Pizza Nova. Calling Pizza Nova's mobile. Thanks for calling Pizza Nova customer service. Kadesha speaking. Alexa, set an alarm for 10 seconds from now. 10 seconds, starting now. Alexa, stop. Alexa, what do you think of Google Now? I don't have an opinion on that. So guys, that's it for today. I want to start this little series. I got a bunch of different products I want to look at. We're going to try to do some fairly short videos, maybe once a week, and we'll look at new products. Smart home, home automation, that type of thing. If there's something specific you're looking for, leave a comment down below, and, and I'll see if I can get my hands on one and do a review for you guys. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much. Again, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you on the next one. Hey, so what do you guys think of the new setup? Does it look good? I mean, if you like it, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me some comments. Let me know why. I'm still working to change it up. It may not stay this way, but I was looking for something a little different. Hopefully the audio's better. The lighting's getting better. I'm trying, guys. That's all I can say. That's it for today. See you next time.